I love looking at those picture perfect pantries. Eight juice boxes perfectly lined up next to two dozen granola bars neatly arranged in a container, and then tiered rows, four identical cans of tomatoes, five just perfectly sized cans of condensed soup, and then a row of adorable little jars of kumquats. I've never even eaten a kumquat, and some days I've eaten like three granola bars, so my perfectly arranged snack bin would be not perfectly arranged like ever. I'm on a, I need a realistic pantry, and currently mine looks like a closet with food tossed in it. Well, that's kind of what it is. I'm going to start by emptying out the whole pantry and sorting through the foods. That's not one of those picture perfect pantries, so there's got to be something expired in there. has wire shelves and I find that really uneven for cans and boxes so I came up with this inexpensive idea where I covered foam board with contact paper and I picked something that kind of matched the floor so it's like this marbled look because the whites and grays and it matches the room and it's really inexpensive and I've had these since like the beginning of the pandemic like the start of lockdown so they're a few years old and they're holding up great and I just wipe them down and I'm gonna keep using them For the pantry, I've been stockpiling plastic storage containers for a while now. I have these bins that come in different sizes, some spinny turntables, and several of these OXO pops, one of the ones with the lid that pops up. These are really good and convenient. Um, but I've been stockpiling these for the pantry, and now what I'm going to do is just kind of arrange them in the pantry to see which ones fit best where and how they fit nicely together. So it's kind of like pantry Tetris. Because the closet has sliding doors, it's already divided in half, so I just kind of went with that. And I have this side as the cooking side, so it's like the savory foods. And then this is my baking side, and this has like the sweeter foods. I use the shallow turntable for small jars. This will keep them grouped together and in easy reach. The tiered shelves help me see what's in the pantry quickly. This way, food doesn't get lost and forgotten somewhere way in the back. I originally stored my dry goods in glass containers with labels made on my Cricut. But when I would use up, say, like all the chia, I couldn't reuse that container for anything else without it being confusing. My label solution is to switch to reusable ones. These ones are from Amazon and they're like a smooth chalkboard sticker with a reusable white marker. Now I've also saw white labels with like black or blue or whatever colored markers. And I went with this package because it comes in different sizes, which is great for the different size pop containers. And of course, I'll leave this linked in the description too. When you first write on the labels, it's really easy to wash off. But after a few weeks, the white marker doesn't want to budge. In the Amazon reviews, someone mentioned this and said they would just peel off the label and replace it. I was determined to find a solution. I used so many cleaners like Goo Gone, Dawn Power Spray, nothing worked. But then I rubbed oil on the label and washed it off with just dish soap. That removed both the oil and the marker. I'm sure there's some science to explain this, but all I know is that it works. These baskets are so convenient for grouping items together. So like this is just where I keep all my beans. This is just random baking supplies and you can just toss them in and it just groups everything together and because it's a basket, it doesn't look messy. But I also wanted to label them. So I picked up some little labels from Amazon. Let me show you. And you get three markers and then 18 little tags and they're sort of individually wrapped. So. I'll open up the wrap and there's two little labels in each package and I'll have this linked in the description below. And what's really convenient is they're just the right size 
to clip over the baskets. And they're supposed to be wipeable. So let's give it a try. So let's write beans. And let's see how easily that wipes off. So I have a damp paper towel. It's not perfect. Let's just a little more wet. Oh yeah, it's a little more wet, wipes off just great. Let me dry it and write that again. Not bad. To maximize my space with as much storage as I can, I added these little baskets. They slide out pretty nicely. And this one has plastic bags. And this one here is where we usually put like canned drinks, like sparkling waters or something. And we can put them in here before loading them up into the fridge. So it's just like overflow for cans. This basket is lined with a plastic basket because it holds liquids like my big vinegar, extra oils up here. And it's just the perfect size to fit between the two wire shelf racks. I've been using the pantry like this now for a couple months and I'm happy to say it's actually working out really well. My favorite change are the clear plastic bins. They're really great for grouping foods together and they mean super easy to access. If you have any ideas or products that are game changers in your pantry, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with someone who might need some organization inspiration and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. Did I have volume? I did. And I did that in one take. Yeah, yeah. And my notes are being held up by three bananas and a Tupperware of baguettes. Yeah, that's how you do things. Bye.